and welcome back on this series about nipple confusion. The first one I talked about what the definition of nipple confusion is. The second one I started to talk about nipple choices. And today I'm going to talk about if you cannot have that baby make the choice to only breastfeed for whatever reason that you need your baby to take a bottle and hopefully they're going to be able to breastfeed and bottle feed but if not that's you know that's okay like no judgment and i i definitely want baby fed and i want mom mom's happy and baby's happy so how do you even think about what you should be doing to prepare your baby for the possibility that they need to um transition to a bottle and what happens all the time and you may be like this person, you are breastfeeding your baby, you're really enjoying it, and then comes the time where you have to start thinking about that you have to go back to work and you kind of don't really want to think about that, so you procrastinate a little bit and, oh, my baby's going to be able to take a bottle, that's not going to be an issue, and then you get down to the nitty gritty and baby does not want to take a bottle. and. Or maybe they do take a bottle and it's okay and you know everything is okay. So what nipple should you choose if you want to transition? Or if you're not transitioning, what nipple is going to provide the best oral development or stimulate the best motor patterns? Remember your mouth is full of muscles and the way that your muscles work can be influenced by what you put in your baby's mouth. So what you put in your mouth affects function. So in this world that you go to the store or you go on Amazon and you're trying to research and figure out what is the best nipple to use, the overly advertised bottles that are like mom's breast is overwhelming and unfortunately super confusing and even more unfortunate, very wrong. So bottles like these, that are overly advertised as like mom's nipple. Yeah, maybe kind of looks more like a breast nipple than something that's more um, standard, but it doesn't function like a breast. So if you have your baby on one of these type, the wide based nipples that are like mom's breast that really aren't, look at where your baby's latching and line your thumb up to where that nipple is. So babies latch, it looks like they have a really wide open mouth, but their latch is right here at the end of the nipple and they cannot grab onto that nipple and suck. So it's going to encourage your baby to use compression, which is the bitey part, and that can trash breastfeeding in a heartbeat. But when you're looking at your nipples, if your baby's tongue is about the length of your thumb, and you put that right up to the edge like this. Let's see, I don't know where you can see it best. If you put it like that, it's only taking up half of my thumb, which means that the very anterior part of your baby's tongue is the only part that has the opportunity to work off that nipple. If you take one of these more standard nipples and you put your thumb on that, see how much further and longer this nipple is because we're going to get our babies to flange their lips on that nipple cap and then look at how deep that is and you want the nipple you want when you're breastfeeding you want your nipple to go to about where your hard and soft palate it's called hard soft palate juncture so basically where they kind of meet which is pretty far back in your mouth and these nipples are never going to get back there and this nipple has a better chance of doing that. And because you're stimulating the entire blade of your tongue, that's what it's called. So basically, if you're just stimulating your entire tongue to work, you're going to get more effective suck, swallow, breathes out of a bottle like this than you would out of a bottle like this. So when you're picking bottles, if you're transitioning back and forth or you just want to transition to a new bottle, or you're not even going to breastfeed, but you want a good bottle that supports development, oral development, get a bottle that's more like this. The long, narrow bottles, the skinny based bottles, and they're easier to hold than these wide things. Um, 
and they're also going to help support development much better because it's going to stimulate the entire tongue to work it's called undulation but it's activation of the entire tongue which is then going to help your baby spoon feed better if you choose to spoon feed use the tongue more effectively to chew and use your tongue more effectively to speak so if you're going to try to make that transition off the breast these are the best nipples because they're going to support the tongue patterns that are more like what you would do for breastfeeding and they also support oral function and development hope this was helpful please subscribe please like this video if, if you found it helpful and i am going to try to either go on to TikTok or instagram because i feel like i could help more parents and get more exposure on that platform over this YouTube platform. Let me know which one you think more of your peers would be interested in. That would be so helpful for me or write me a question. I would love to have some interactions with you. Thank you so much for your time and as always, have a phenomenal day.